Hey everybody, this is OG Gaming. Thanks for stopping by this Thursday morning. And I just want to talk to you a little bit about my jersey and how sharp I look in it. <laughs> this, is, this number here is Jack Youngblood. Love this guy, man. He's like an awesome player. See? Back, got, got it going, Jack Youngblood. Got some other jerseys in, in my closet. But this player, one of my childhood fantasies as a kid, I want to be a pro football player. Uh, I did play high school football. I was very fast. I was a running back and got scars on here to show it. Got my bell rung a lot of times. But anyway, that's another story. I like to talk about today Microsoft, Nintendo, and we're going to talk about Sony real quick. Should I get through? Now, I'm kind of concerned about the Xbox One X coming out this holiday season. Uh, we all know that. Uh, they're geared up for this big sales. I've been flirting about getting me a new console. Um, I was going to go out and get the Pro, PS4 Pro, but then there was rumors for a while generated that there's going to be a PS5, and then now it's been confirmed that there is one coming. It might be as early as next year or even the following year, 2019. So now we have the Xbox One X coming out, and you know what? I've been looking at the specs and i'm sure a lot of us have and it's out there already that it is the most powerful console that microsoft ever made now what's kind of like the what's on everybody's mind and it has been for quite some time is why does not microsoft make any more new games why are they trailing in the games you know i don't understand why they they have to the, you got to have a signature for the new Xbox One X. You got to have a a good game to to make me think. Okay, I'm gonna go out and buy it. I love that game, and it's an exclusive game for the Xbox One X. Okay, and don't you think it's kind of odd that you're not seeing that? You're seeing projects go on the table. They announce this game's gonna come out, and then they pull the plug on that game. And with really no explanation why they're doing it. Now, and I have not seen a game. Yeah, I want to get that too, man. But it's not, I want to go out and get the Xbox One X. But there isn't really any new titles. And so Xbox decided to make it backwards compatible. That means that everything that you're playing on the Xbox One, you're going to be able to play on the Xbox One X, right? But you're going to have better graphics. I'm not going to say they're not making any games for the new Xbox One X, but the graphics are going to be that you're going to be playing on the Xbox One. Now, once you want to have better graphics and you know stuff like that in new games, and that's where I think uh, Microsoft, Xbox One, Xbox One X, they're they're not really. They're hurting in that department, and all they're, they're cheating themselves out. They're hurting the customers. And then I, I want to say this. I am not trying to bash Microsoft or bash any of the companies that I'm about to mention in this video. I, I think that for so many years, Nintendo did the same thing that Microsoft did when Nintendo first came out. Nobody made... Nintendo only made their own game. They did not sub out to other studios to make their game. And that hurt them in so many different ways that uh, there was a lot of games not coming out fast enough. And the, the games did come out. They were pretty good games. But I think that you're going to introduce a new console. You're going to have to have new games that go with that console. You just can't keep making compatible, backwards compatible, backwards compatible. Because it means you're just going to bring those old games that on your old consoles and bring them to the new ones. So what are the new games for the new console? Keep in mind that they're not, I'm not saying they're not going to make any new games for the Xbox One X. But why does Microsoft come out with a lot more games? And I know that this is the truth about Microsoft. They do not. Because I have a lot of friends at Xbox and I hear that same complaint. They tell me they don't come out with a lot more games. And I tell them the same thing I'm saying in this video. That you know who did the same thing? Nintendo. Nintendo. And I think they still do that. You know I haven't had a Nintendo product in a very long time. Um, I can't remember. I think I got like a some, some little, little handheld. Forgot the name of that thing. But it's in my room. But um, 
Now, for so many years, it seems like PlayStation's always been the the the, the lead in the, in the in that department, making consoles and and making games. And it seems like there's a lot of studios. There's a studio like Santa Monica Studios. There's a lot of studios out here where I live at. Um, that they 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 have other studios to make their games, and that's why they're able to go out and produce a lot more games than Microsoft. Now, it's not that Microsoft can't do that. Microsoft is a very big company, very profitable company. Uh, so why is that an issue that you cannot make new games for the Xbox One X? Exclusive games. We have not seen anything like that yet. And, and the sales drop, and that's why and if you look back on the Xbox One, the, uh, the PlayStation 4 sales were way higher than what you see for the Xbox One. And this is where, if you want to get, competition is good. It's very good because both sides benefit from it. If Microsoft was to go out and make more games, that's gonna force the PlayStation to make more games and better games because right now they're just coasting, you know? It kind of like, kind of like what happened with AMD and Intel, for a lot of years, Intel has been just putting good product out there and never really having any competition. It's, it's the same thing, what's going on with Microsoft and Nintendo. And now look at AMD, boy, they got Threadripper, they have, you know, their Microsoft is like saying, whoa, we didn't see this coming. But actually, did you not think this game, this day would never ever come? You know, so now competition is good. Even though um, Intel and AMD, now they're going to put out good products because now one's going to, they don't, you know, they're going to play tug of war. Do we keep the existing customers? We got to keep the old customers. We got to keep them happy and put out better stuff to keep them. Or we just can't let it because everybody's talking about getting a new build on AMD. Dead Ripper you know it's supposed to be fast multitasking so well that being said folks i believe that if microsoft wants to be competitive with sony this is what sony wants they sony wants everybody to buy their stuff they're going to put out tons and tons of games they know that microsoft is trailing on that department it hurt so microsoft just we're gonna make a new console we're not gonna put any you know main game to it you know we're not gonna make any hardly any game we're just gonna make it backwards compatible and and just float with that and and that and if you want to be be very competitive you're gonna to have to step up a little bit on the game department and make more games for your customers because I'm sure you would like more games we all would like more games and if if Microsoft steps up on that part that's gonna make competition with Sony and it's gonna be like like almost like a slinky like that what was that little toy a slinky you know who's gonna get the customers I don't get me wrong if if uh, Microsoft Xbox one X does really good on sales and I would buy it but you gotta have it it has to balance itself out with more games and right now nobody's seen that and uh, well, that being said, folks, I'm going to go ahead and leave, uh, leave a link in this video so you can go ahead and check out about mainly everything I talked about regarding Microsoft. Um, because I believe that that's where Microsoft is shooting their soft in the foot. They're making consoles, but they're not making any exclusive games for those consoles. That should be the headliner for the 2017 uh, uh, season because they got it at the end of the year where you know Christmas and the holidays are sitting in so well, with that being said well thanks for watching if you have any comment what I said go ahead and leave them down below make sure they're nice and clean and um, other than that folks this is OG Gaming thanks for watching catch you on the next one later guys